Last night, Trump came out for the first night at the RNC to uh, Lee Greenwood singing his hit, God Bless the USA. And Lee did a much better job than the disastrous, horrific, ear-piercing national anthem that we got last night. Oh, my God. Oh, it was so, it was so bad. It was by a a country singer, Ingrid Andrus. And it was honestly the worst thing I've heard for a national anthem since probably Roseanne Barr, which at least was like comedy. This was not meant to be comedy. Here we go. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets red glare, the bombs <laughs> bursting in air. Oh! Gave proof through the night that our flag. Oh, oh, make it stop. Tell me that's not the worst thing you've ever heard. I was offended. I was offended for the country on that national anthem. They have so many good country artists in Texas, and they pick somebody that's not even from Texas. Oh, oh my goodness. It's so painful on so many levels. Step aside, Carl Lewis. All right? We got a new worst national anthem singer of all time, John. Top that one for me. Wow. Yeah, I there's hardly any explanation for that other than you, you don't know the song. I mean, perhaps she got out there in that delay that when you're on the field over stadium speakers where if I say something, then it comes out, say something, you know, like 10 seconds later. And you can't listen to yourself and you just have to continue on, you know. I, th- there wasn't even like she was kind of pausing to no. figure out where she was. It's no. like, I'm not sure the note here, but I'm going to go for this one and I'm going to bring it on down. Oh. Gosh, wow. that, oh, 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 oh. I can't the, imagine how she's got a record contract. Uh, yeah, I guess it's no. easy to do. You just have to record it. All I got to go in the studio and push record. Yeah. Give it a rip, I guess. And uh, I guess artificial intelligence helps these <laughs> folks, too. That's all I can think. <laughs> One of the funniest descriptions I saw was that it sounded like this girl was singing the national anthem in cursive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's outstanding. I asked Mark because I'm looking over his shoulder at the video, and she kind of has the mic in her face. I go, is that Hawk Tula? Yeah. <laughs> because she had done the Zach Bryan thing. She goes, yes. I can't sing. Yeah. I mean, the Hawk no. Tula girl would have done a better job than I'd this. Probably, but I don't think she would have put herself in that position. Well, sure. no. She's got more I mean, self-awareness as far as I can tell. stuck there. I, I was telling Mark, it's like, it's National Anthem Night at the ballpark. Our <laughs> lucky fan in GA is going to be selected to perform the National Anthem. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but here's the other thing, too. I mean, Major League Baseball has done a terrible job with its sport for the better part of, I would say, a decade and a half now. Uh, the sport is run by just absolute morons, and they can't even hire a decent national anthem singer for one of their biggest nights of the year. Who approved that? I mean, I, I don't think that was probably Rob Manfred. I don't think he's going around auditioning anthem singers. No. But, I mean, bring in Simon Cowell as a special advisor for your anthem singers or something. You cannot have the biggest story coming out of one of your premier nights how bad your national anthem singer was. And I didn't watch a minute. I used to love the Derby. I used to love the All-Star Week. Uh, But, you know, baseball is its own worst enemy on some of this stuff. And now all all anyone's talking about is the anthem. Outside of, I guess, you know, Bobby Witt almost came close last night, which congratulations. Mm -hmm. But sorry, Ingrid, uh, (laughs) let me make sure I get her name right. Ingrid Andrus 
stole everyone's thunder. What a disaster.